Welcome back guys. We are out here and we're going to be doing some quail hunting today. We might see a rooster or two, but we're mainly going to be targeting some quail. I'm out here with F5 Outfitters. Cole's out yonder. But uh, got the 20 gauge today and we got Walt, the German wire hair pointer. He's going to be working these fields with us today and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We got it's about 56 degrees, so it's a little bit warm, but we got a good strong wind. So we'll get to uh, pounding some hedgerows and maybe some little thickets along the way and see if we can kick something up. Quail hunting's a blast, and I don't get to do it a whole lot, so I'm really excited about this. Quail! I hate my life. I just missed twice. You guys get any? Something went down. Yeah, shot! Here, 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 here. Dog. Walt, come here. We haven't really made it very far at all. Like, maybe a hundred yards when we busted out two coveys already. The shooting's kind of tough. They're slipping off real quick. It's just been fast action, so I think we'll see some more today. It's, this is going to be fun. Oh, running. Shot! There was one running. Out on this side? Yeah. He's still in here. Okay. Oh, come on. Across the road? Yeah. We're getting ready to come to the opening, so that's going to be it probably. Walt! in there. Go back in there. No. Birds in there. We're coming around. What is, did you see a few? Okay. Be ready. It's going to go with the wind, I bet. Step out there. Get him, Walt. Get in there. Hey, come on. Walt. Come out. Come here, Walt. Come in there. Come in here. Birds in there. Get him. Get him. Find him. We had to run over him. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go comb this and cut over. And when we get back to the trucks, we may just strip it one more time just to see if there's anything in there. But we'll go back over here. Well, we got four out of that field there, so we're gonna go over to the next one here and see what we can do, but it's a very humbling experience, I would say. Isn't that right, Cole? Especially for me. Yeah, that's tough shooting. That wind's blowing about 35, and when they get into it, they are gone. Makes it tough. Finally connected with one. Definitely have had at least three or four opportunities right in front of me that I could not hit. It's fun, because like, the, the quail, Walt gets in there, 
he's working, finds a bird, and and you're like, oh, what do I do? That's that's kind of the situation. So we'll keep at it. Hopefully, we can get in a couple more coveys. Yep. Awesome. Good to see. Nice. It's good to see him coming back though. Like out on the other properties, we're seeing him, seeing him show up heavier. That was a poke too. Nice. Well, guys, that is a wrap for this little quail hunt. I've been holding on to this one for a few weeks now, just kind of waiting for a good time to post it. I feel like this is a good time. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to Cole from F5 Outfitters for inviting me to come down, do some hunting with him down there, and it was a blast getting on a quail hunt again. I haven't been on a quail hunt in, like, a quail hunt where I see quail, because, like, this past, like, uh, early in January I went quail hunting, but I didn't see any quail. Um, I think the last time I had a good quail hunt was back in, like, 2018 or 19, so it's been a while, and it was long overdue. It was fun. It was a very humbling experience and the wind made it difficult because once those quail picked up and left it, there was like not even a chance of me uh, getting a shot that would hit them so um it was very sporting very humbling uh we saw a lot of the quail in the same little hedgerow so we worked through that quite a few times because that's the only area we saw quail other than that one other covey towards the end of the video so you know all in all it was a pretty fun day, and if you guys are looking to do any kind of quail hunting or duck and goose hunting in Kansas or get kind of a full experience of duck, goose, and uh, upland hunting, check out Cole at F5 Outfitters. Give him a call and book a hunt with him because that's what he does. He takes people hunting for ducks, geese, and uh, upland hunting. So make sure to go check him out. And if you guys aren't already listening to the podcast, I've got the podcast gear right here. You got to go over to the Ads Are Limits podcast, give it a listen, and uh, because I'm going to start recording more podcasts now that season's over and we can keep on rolling. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure to ring that little notification bell so then you never miss out on another video. And I will catch you guys on the next one.